building behind me, this building was built uh, around 1932, something like that. It's called a Memorial Building, and that's a, it's a classical Greek revival architecture. It was built by a renowned architect. They built a lot of these um, throughout the country after World War One. You guys familiar with World War One? Yeah. Yeah, that was the Great War. Okay. A lot of uh, the veterans returning from the war uh, needed some place like this to to uh, gather and you know uh, discuss all of the issues of the war. And this was this was like one of the payback from the government to the soldiers returning from not, a, not only from World War One. From this, uh, the wars after that too, but uh, that's kind of where it got started. Dixon County. Yay! And in particular today, we're going to talk about the city of Dixon and what organization put it together, or what group brought you here. Okay, we got Oakmont and the bus. Both of those so far are officially participants. There's one more, not not me personally. No, has anybody heard of the Clement Railroad Hotel Museum? Mister Dean, you're on. I'm on. Mr. Reynolds is a very well-known artist in the area, among other things that he does. Donnie is great about knowing a lot of history, too. So Mr. Donnie and Mr. John are going to talk to us a whole lot about the history of Dixon as we go on our walking tour, okay? But then, when I was a kid, this, this used to be a grain uh, store, and you could buy, you know, chickens and stuff like that. Yeah, we started gas pumps out here, and um, it was kind of like the co-op at one time, but uh, over the years it's changed, and it's, this is a really old building, and it's got a lot of good, good, a lot of new history to it, but um, now it's renovated, and uh, you know, like I said, a lot of people come here and play, and I see a lot of kids come up here with their parents and grandparents uh, when they're up here, you know, they got a stage in there, and on some nights, some good shows. Who grocery store is You can get to call it. Oh, you told on the grocery store. My friend had a grandma who's ready down here in the course of the wagon. And she gets oh. down here and in it. Get you there. Oh, wow. On Saturday mornings. What was it called? You told them grocery store. You told them? And down there was a grocery store. It's a regular grocery store over there. Huh? Yeah, a long time ago, there used there were several grocery stores. This was old alley, and all the people gave me this old alley right here. They talked to the bedrooms now. The majority of the buildings you're like looking at today were built in the early 1900s. The reason, can anybody tell me how many times the city of Dixon has, has caught on fire and burnt down to the ground? Five, twenty, yeah. three. Three, you know your history. And now it completely burnt down to where the majority of the building had to re be replaced. And that's the reason all these, all your buildings were built approximately in the early 1900s. <laughs> this is Dick's hardware. I'm going to ask Mr. Donnie but I think I'm right on this, I'm not sure. But this was maybe the exception on one or two buildings. Yeah, this is the original Dixon Hardware Store. This was the original Dixon Hardware Store. Yeah, this is the original Dixon Hardware Store. 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 Everybody came to on, on Saturday morning, you know, to, if they needed uh, leather goods, uh, if they needed some fishing tackle, if you needed some uh, plumbing supplies. I saw uh, You know, they had knives in here. They, uh, they had, they tried to have a little bit of everything in this store. This is an old-fashioned hardware store. That, that, that are, uh, uh, going by the wayside. Now we've got Walmart and Lowe's. Stores like this, they don't hardly exist anymore. As a matter of fact, this, this store right now is in the process of being uh, liquidated, and I think before too long, it's probably going to be torn down, but something else will be built on this floor. So what you're looking at right now is a real piece of, uh, uh, of Americana, a real piece of American history, a real piece of Dixon County history that's just about to go by the wayside. Another thing that would take place in not only this store, but Main Street and all of your different stores, especially your barbershops and uh, 
before y'all came along, we didn't know what the internet and the iPhone and the computers and all that stuff was. So people would pass down their, their history or their news by talking to each other. And a lot of men would come to Nick's Hardware on Saturday morning or go to the barbershop on Saturday morning primarily to get the latest news of the week or to uh, pass down family history and our stories. We're uh, Southern people are always known for as being storytellers. Well, the way you're a storyteller is you get those stories from your family. And your parents and grandparents still do it. I believe it was in the early 70s we had a fire on Main Street. It destroyed these two buildings here. And uh, actually, I think this was all one building. It destroyed part of uh, what used to be what uh, is you know, Ace Cafe. It destroyed part of the room. But there was a drugstore here called Maya Drugstore. And Donnie, you probably remember going in. Yeah. Bank Fiction across the street. That's a home homegrown uh, bank that's been here forever. Uh, and this was the original Bank Fiction. No, First National. This is the original First, first National. Bank. First nice. That was the two main banks we had here in town. And I used to bank over there at the Bank of Dixon. But unfortunately, I have a twin brother, and he banked there. <laughs> and guess what happened? They didn't have computers, so when I signed my check and give them my slip, they put my money in his checking account. He'd spend it and not say nothing, and I didn't have no money. <laughs> so what I would do, I had to do, he, he stayed at Bank of Dixon, and I've come to First National, and I'm still banking with those people. <laughs> All right, who can tell me when this building was built? Yes, sir. Very good. You ready to get it? This is, this is probably one of the nicest uh, Greek revival buildings in Dixon. This, this is a really, really nice old building. And not only has it served as a bank for many years, but it's the first national bank. Uh, other banks too, but it also has the offices of several uh, elected officials, and uh, so this, this, this building here, you know, it's been here almost 100 years, a lot of history, it's a beautiful building, y'all need to appreciate the uh, architecture on this building. So if you got any questions, not some buildings.